so I kind of dropped my phone today. Um, it fell on concrete and now nothing comes up on the screen. So I need a new phone. All right, okay. Uh, yeah, we can get you a new phone then and just restore your, your backup from Google. Yeah, I also didn't set up any of that Google stuff. So all my stuff is just on this phone. So all your details are still on the phone? Okay, well, I'll leave it here and you can figure it out. So this right here is my partner's Huawei P30 phone and unfortunately it took a tumble out of the car and against some concrete. I don't know if you can see that there in the corner and it goes pretty much up the whole screen which is an absolute shame. Now the problem with that is, is my partner didn't back up any of our details and as much as I preach this and tell it to pretty much anyone family wise because I'm usually the one that ends up setting up their phones and everything like that. She didn't set up any of her Google backup details and all of her pictures of her son was on her phone, all of her contacts, any of her details at all were stored on the phone itself. So I had to try and find some way to get the information off of it and preferably without paying for a repair. She only had two months left in her contract for the phone and on top of that, a screen replacement for that for most places was quoting in between 120 and 150 pounds. And you can buy and a used version of that phone for round about that price no smash screen obviously no details so i had to find a workaround so i done what most people would do in my situation i opened up a browser and i started googling things to do with android screens being broken how to access the phones i watched some youtube videos i even tried a few different softwares and got absolutely nowhere until eventually i came to this and that workaround was a USB-C adapter dongle that I found on Amazon after searching how to access an Android phone with a broken screen for a good hour or so. It cost me under £20 to buy this USB-C adapter which will also work on my Dell XPS laptop as well which is pretty cool. But the main feature I wanted it for was HDMI out. Having a look online, the Huawei P30 has the option of video out through USB-C. So by connecting it to that I was hoping to get a video output to the screen and I was going to be able to access her phone, log it in that way and that way I could use a keyboard or mouse if the touch screen wasn't working due to the screen being smashed and that would allow us to back up our data, erase the phone and that way we could recover it onto a new phone that we were going to get for her. So I hooked the phone up to USB-C, I hooked up the HDMI cable to it, I hooked up a mouse and just due to the cable length I had to leave it hanging off my desk a little bit, I hooked up my keyboard to it. And pressing the power button on the phone I did realise that it came up with this lock screen. Now it didn't show any of the standard stuff you'd see on the phone so there was no background wallpaper or anything like that and as soon as you unlocked the phone using touch or hit any key on the keyboard it disappeared from the HDMI source output and I presume that's some sort of protection mechanism so all I did was blindly typed in her passcode into my keyboard and lo and behold up comes the phone screen wallpaper and all so from there all I had to go and do was go and check the Google account do a backup I logged into her Google Photos and I let it do the backup that way and um, unfortunately she was logged into Huawei Notes and had a bit of a problem recovering the Huawei password so what we did instead is I just took a couple of screenshots of what she had in her notes section a lot of it wasn't really needed anymore anyway but that way she had any important parts she needed so yeah, if you ever do break your mobile phone screen and you can't see anything on screen, have a Google online and see if your phone is compatible with video out. It's certainly not the only way you can do this, but it's one of the ways that I've found and it seems to be one of the cheapest methods to do it as well. Um, data recovery from most shops is an absolute fortune if it's even possible. Um, repairs for screens because most of them are AMOLED is usually absolutely extortionate as well. And... 9 times out of 10 you're just cheaper replacing the phone so if you have your backups then it makes that process a whole lot easier and she's learned that this time around so thankfully everything's backed up our new phone should be here today and once we get that up and running all the backups will be set on that as well and hopefully no more problems in the future but hopefully this video has helped someone who has a broken phone that they can't access a screen and they've discovered that the phone has video out so if you liked the video 
leave a like, leave a comment, let me know your thoughts. Have you had to recover your phone from any damage, smash screen? Have you had any stories from when you should have backed up data and you didn't? I'd like to know. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.